In this second tutorial of Luminar Neo's Neon Glow, as of this taping, it's Halloween, so I'm going to take a picture of this pumpkin and make it even scarier than it is. All right, kids, let's check it out. All right, like I said, we get this scary picture of this pumpkin here. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go over here and grab our quick selection tool. Let's make a rough selection of the one eye. Hold your shift key down, the other eye, the nose, and the mouth. Let's grab a little more of the mouth there. Now, let's go over to paths. Hold your alt key down, and let's make a path. We'll leave the tolerance at five. Now we'll go back to layers. We'll go new, and we'll just call it face. We'll check our brush, and it should be hard brown brush, about 5 pixels. Opacity and flow at 100%, and the color is white. So we'll go P, right-click, and go Stroke Path. We'll use the brush. Escape twice. Now, let's make a solid color adjustment layer. Make sure it's black with all zeros. And we'll throw it underneath our selection. Now we'll grab both layers. Right click and merge them. Now let's go to filter. Skylum software Luminar Neo. Now we'll go to edit. Creative and Neon and Glow. Let's grab the amount and make it roughly about 50. Okay, now let's change a few things. We'll change the color to match the pumpkin, which is roughly about 25. It's a good orange color there. Like I said, the amount will be 50. The indent will be minus 10. The spread will be about 60. Atmosphere, roughly about 10. And the whiteness, 30. Now, if there are any spots that never got chose by the AI, we can always go to Refine and Draw, zoom in a bit, and we'll make it We'll make your brush roughly about the same size. And let's just draw it in. Fix it up a bit. Cool. Now let's zoom back out here. Fit the screen. Now, your pumpkin is looking, starting to look a bit scary. So let's hit apply. Now we'll change the blend mode to either screen or linear dodge. Linear dodge is just a little more intense than screen. So I'm gonna stick with screen. Now, remember you can take the opacity and bring it down, slowly bring it up to however you want it. Make it 100%, make it crazy. Or linear dodge, which is even more intense. Now you can double click on the face and split the current layer, the white, and you can make it however you wish. And you can see the way it changes here to make it a little more intense or glowy, whatever you wish. I'm gonna leave it just as such, like that. I'm gonna make my opacity about 75%. Now you've got your pumpkin glowing even scarier than before. Before, after. Before, after. Scary. Well, kids, there you have it. I made that pumpkin even more brilliant and scary than it was before. If this tutorial helped you at all, please like and subscribe. You won't break a nail. I'm done from the 4911. See ya.